Hey, this is Eric from LessonNotebook.com with another song lesson video. Now this song is a very simple three chord song for the newbie level guitar player. This song is Can't You See by the Marshall Tucker Band and it really only uses three chords. You have your D, C, and G. Now the pattern for this song is D, C, G, then back to your D. So you have D, C, G, D. Because of the fact that the pattern begins and ends on a D, when you loop the, sh the, um, the chord progression, you end up staying on the D for a long time. The strum pattern that I like to use for this song is down, 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 up. It's three down strokes and one up stroke. The first down stroke is a quarter note. The second one is an eighth note. The third one is a sixteenth, and so is the up stroke. So it's one, two, and a three, four, and a three. Okay? And when you play through it, you end up playing that pattern twice on each chord. So D, two times through the strum pattern. C, two times through the strum pattern. G, two times through the strum pattern. Back to your D, two times through the strum pattern. Then you start all over again on D, which makes it feel like the D is there for four strum patterns when it's really just two at the beginning of the progression and two at the end of the progression, then it loops. So when you, when you play through it, it sounds like this. And see, I've looped it again there, so I played my D four times in a row, two at the beginning of the progression and two at the end of the progression. I'm gonna take a freight train down at the station. I don't care where it goes. Gonna climb a just repeats like that all the way through the song. It's the same four chords for verse, chorus, all the way through. Super repetitive. Great for that newbie level guitar player who has learned those three chords and can strum through a pattern and just wants to work on moving through them. It's a great song because of the fact that you don't have to think about the chord progression changing between verse and chorus or throwing a bridge in there. The strum pattern never changes. It's nice and simple. Now like most of the songs that I teach in lessons, yeah, this is not meant to be a note-for-note -note exact replica of the recorded version of the song. It's meant to be a version that's easy for a, a, a guitar player at a certain level of experience to be able to pick up and play and sing along with and play a recognizable song. So have fun with that one. Can't You See by the Marshall Tucker Band.